Hey guys, I'm John. Today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator for the 2008 to 2010 6.4 liter power stroke. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more 6.4 liter power stroke videos. While we have the truck apart, we're also going to be installing the Mishimoto silicone coolant hose kit and the Mishimoto hot side intercooler pipe and boot kit. Let's get started. Tools needed for install include 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter deep socket, 11 millimeter deep socket, swivel adapter, quarter drive 6 inch extension, quarter drive 12 inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, 13 millimeter deep socket, 3 8 drive 6 inch extension, 3 8 drive ratchet, 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, a flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, pop clip tool, a pick, and coolant. Install time is about six hours, and install difficulty is a four out of five. There are a few things that we highly recommend you check out before you actually start installing the radiator in your truck. This makes it easier, that way you can go out and get them before you start your install. Those things include the updated degas bottle, coolant hoses, thermostats, and cab isolator bushings. Let's walk you through them. Over here on the driver's side of the truck, you'll notice we already have the single port degas bottle installed on this truck here. Ford updated this through a TSB from a two port to a single port. You wanna make sure that your single port overflow reservoir is free of any nicks, cracks, or damage. While we're up here, make sure that the overflow cap is holding 16 PSI. You can pressure test this or it's probably best to just go out and buy a new one. Also, we wanna make sure we have the correct Venturi T installed right here. Next, we wanna check out the coolant hoses. Ford issued a TSB, updating the engine side of your upper and lower hose with a white connector and a double O-ring design. This is to help prevent air pockets from entering your cooling system. We highly recommend that you install the Mishimoto silicone coolant hose kit because we have the double O-ring design on both the engine side and the radiator side. Next are the thermostats. These are a little bit more difficult to check ahead of time, but we highly recommend installing the Mishimoto high or low temp performance thermostats, depending on your climate. Next, we wanna check the cab isolator bushings. These are underneath either headlight on both your driver and passenger side. If these are deteriorated or look dry rotted or damaged at all, make sure you buy new ones, that way you can replace them. Disconnect the negative terminal on both batteries using an eight millimeter socket. Locate and loosen the drain plug on the base of the radiator using a 19 millimeter socket and allow all the coolant to drain from the radiator. Using an 11 millimeter deep socket, loosen the clamps on the cold side upper intercooler pipe boot. Next, move underneath the truck and use your 11 millimeter deep socket to loosen the clamps on the lower intercooler pipe boot which attaches to the intercooler. Remove the one 8 millimeter bolt attaching the fuel cooler to the intercooler. Next, remove the two 10 millimeter bolts from the top of the intercooler. Next, remove the intercooler from your truck. Remove the single 10 millimeter bolt that holds the vehicle horns to the radiator support. Disconnect the hood release cable from its bracket. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding the power steering cooler in place and then place it out of the way. Using needle nose pliers, disconnect the transmission lines from the radiator. Make sure to have a pan or towel ready as transmission fluid will drain out from the radiator. Remove the two 8mm bolts that hold the AC condenser to the radiator. Using a pick tool, unseat the hood release cable from the lever and fully remove the cable. Disconnect the hood light sensor's electrical connector and remove the clip. Next. Remove the three pop clips that hold the upper gasket to the radiator. Next, remove the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the radiator to the upper radiator support. Remove the six 13 millimeter bolts that hold the upper radiator support to your truck. Now, you're ready to remove the upper radiator support from your truck. Now, let's fully remove the cold side intercooler pipe. Remove the boot which attaches to the intercooler that you loosened earlier. Using your 11 millimeter deep socket, loosen the clamp on the inlet side and then fully remove the pipe. Remove the one 10 millimeter bolt from the solenoid and slide it out. 
Unbolt the upper fan shroud from the radiator by removing the two 8mm bolts. Remove the two 8mm bolts that hold the power steering reservoir to the fan shroud. Unclip the hose connected to the power steering reservoir and then move the reservoir aside. Unbolt the upper fan shroud from the lower fan shroud by removing the two 8mm bolts. Next, remove the three pop clips that hold the upper gasket to the radiator. Using your pop clip pliers, unclip and unseat the positive lead, vacuum line, and coolant overflow line on the top of the fan shroud and set aside in the back. Using needle nose pliers, remove the coolant overflow hose from the radiator. Next, remove the upper fan shroud from the radiator. Remove the two 8mm bolts that hold the AC condenser to the radiator. Next, we're ready to disconnect the upper radiator hose. Use a pick tool to remove the spring clip and then remove the hose from the radiator. Next, let's remove the lower radiator hose. Using a pick tool, remove the spring clip and then remove the hose from the radiator. Using your pop clip pliers, remove the four pop clips that hold the lower side gaskets to the radiator. Next, carefully remove the radiator from the engine bay. Have someone help you with this as the radiator is quite large. Now that we have the intercooler, the radiator, and basically the front end of the truck removed, you can see it's a lot easier to access the thermostat housing and the hot side intercooler pipe. When removing the thermostat housing, use an eight millimeter deep socket and at least two extensions to help you remove the four bolts holding it in place. When you go to reinstall your thermostat housing, make sure to torque it to 13 Newton meters or 115 inch pounds. Loosen the one 11 millimeter T-bolt clamp for the factory hot side pipe boot at the turbo. Remove the hot side pipe. This may take some wiggling and maneuvering. If you're not removing your radiator at this time, it's also possible to cut your factory hot side pipe to help remove it from your truck. With a pick tool, remove the upper hose from the block. Using your pick tool, disconnect the lower hose from its quick disconnect in the middle of the hose. Make sure you have a bucket close by as additional coolant is gonna leak out. Then, remove the upper portion of the lower hose. Remove the lower hose from the block using a pick tool or a flathead screwdriver. With pop clip pliers, disconnect the two lower plastic retainer clips. Now, you can remove the other half of the lower hose. Now, we want to transfer both of the coolant hose retainer clips to the Mishimoto silicone hose, which attaches to your engine block using a pick tool. Check and make sure the Mishimoto worm gear clamps are tight and secure prior to installation. Now, install the Mishimoto lower hose onto the block. Next, route the other half of the Mishimoto lower hose to meet the other half of the lower hose. Connect the two lower hoses together using the two provided Mishimoto worm gear clamps and make sure to clip those retainers into place. Now, let's move back up to the top of the engine bay. Attach the Mishimoto upper hose to the block. You'll know it's in place when you hear it click. Feed the lower, longer portion of the hot side intercooler pipe into place and attach the short three inch boot to the upper end of the pipe using two Mishimoto provided constant tension T-bolt clamps. Make sure to use a 10 millimeter deep socket. Attach the hot side boot to the turbo outlet using the two Mishimoto provided constant tension T-bolt clamps. Next, install the upper half of the hot side intercooler pipe. Feed it into the boot that you just attached to the turbo outlet. Next, tighten all four clamps. Remove the eight nut clips and transfer them to your new Mishimoto radiator. Here's a tip. Bend the metal ring inwards as shown here to assure a tight fit. Transfer the mounting grommets from the factory radiator to your new Mishimoto radiator. Next, transfer the two upper rubber mounting bushings from your factory radiator to your new Mishimoto radiator. You'll notice we're using the newest Mishimoto design which utilizes rubber pegs to reduce flex to the radiator. Next, you want to very carefully lift and position the Mishimoto radiator in your engine bay. Reinstall the AC condenser to the radiator using the two Mishimoto provided 10 mm bolts. Using the Mishimoto provided two 10 mm bolts, reinstall the upper fan shroud to the radiator. Using the two 8 mm bolts you removed earlier, reattach the upper fan shroud to the lower fan shroud. Using the two Mishimoto provided 10 mm bolts, reattach the lower fan shroud to the backside of the radiator. Reattach the battery lead to the radiator and then reinstall the upper gasket on the radiator.
Next, reattach the power steering reservoir to the fan shroud using the two 10mm bolts you removed earlier. Don't forget to reclip the hose back in. Now, install the lower hose to the radiator. Install the upper hose to the radiator. You'll know it's attached when you hear it click. Slide in and reattach the solenoid. Tighten down the 10 millimeter bolt that holds it in place. Make sure to clip in the electrical loom. Reinstall the cold side intercooler pipe. Don't forget that these clamps are 11 millimeter. Reinstall the transmission cooler and cooler lines to the radiator using the two Mishimoto provided 10 millimeter bolts. Using the six 13 millimeter bolts you removed earlier, reattach the upper radiator support to your truck. Reattach the radiator to the radiator support using the four 10 millimeter bolts. Reinstall the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the power steering cooler in place. Then, reconnect the hood release cable to its bracket. Reinstall the side gaskets on the radiator using the four pop clips you removed earlier. Reinstall the single 10 millimeter bolt that holds the horns to the upper radiator support. Make sure your horns are plugged back in. Reinstall the intercooler in your truck. Make sure that the mounting pegs are properly seated when installing. Using the two 10 millimeter bolts from earlier, reinstall the top of the intercooler to the upper radiator support. Reinstall the one 8mm bolt holding the fuel cooler to the intercooler. Next, reattach your cold side intercooler pipe and boot. Make sure to use your 11mm deep socket to tighten all the clamps. Next, reattach the boot on the lower hot side pipe to the intercooler. Use your 11mm deep socket to tighten the clamp. Now that we've wrapped up the install for the Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator, Silicone Coolant Hose Kit, and Hot Side Intercooler Pipe and Boot Kit, it's time to start bleeding your truck's cooling system. Ford and Mishimoto both recommend using the Airlift Refill Tool. This really helps bleed your cooling system properly and prevent any air pockets from entering the cooling system. After a few hot and cold cycles, maybe a couple days, make sure to double check your degas bottle to make sure the coolant is in the optimum range. After this install guide, click subscribe.